Being asked to prove this inequality is true for all real numbers a greater than or equal to negative 1 and for all positive integers n. This is called Bernoulli's inequality. Let's go ahead and prove it. To prove this, we'll use induction. So this has to hold for all a greater than or equal to negative 1. So we'll start by supposing a is greater than or equal to negative 1. And now we'll use induction on this. We'll think as, of this as our statement s sub n. Let's start with the base case. So base case. So for the base case, we're proving it's true for all positive integers. So we have to start with the smallest one, which is n equals 1. So on the left-hand side, if we replace n with 1, we get 1 plus a to the 1, which is simply 1 plus a. And on the right-hand side, we get 1 plus 1 times a, which is simply 1 plus a. So the left-hand side is 1 plus a, the right-hand side is 1 plus a. 1 plus a is certainly greater than or equal to 1 plus a. In particular, it's equal to. So the, our statement is true for n equals 1. So s sub 1 is true. So the base case is taken care of. Now let's go ahead and write down the induction hypothesis. So induction hypothesis. So for the induction hypothesis, we'll suppose our statement is true for some positive integer k. So suppose that 1 plus a to the k is greater than or equal to 1 plus k a for some positive integer k. So for some k in the set of positive integers. This here is the set of positive integers. Now let's do the induction step. So induction step. This is the meat of the proof. So induction step. So I'm going to go ahead and write down what we need to show before we show it. It helps to know where you're going. Otherwise, it's very hard to get there. So we need to show that our statement is true when n is equal to k plus 1. So we need to show that 1 plus a to the k plus 1 is greater than or equal to 1 plus k plus 1 a. That's what we have to show. Now let's go ahead and show it. So note, we'll start with the left-hand side and show that it's greater than or equal to the right-hand side over there than this. So 1 plus a to the k plus 1 well, that's equal to 1 plus a to the k times 1 plus a to the 1, right? Just using properties of exponents. Now, we know something about 1 plus a to the k. 1 plus a to the k is greater than or equal to 1 plus k a. So what we can do is we can insert a greater than or equal to sign here and replace this piece here with 1 plus k a. And this piece here just hangs out. So here we have 1 plus a. Now it's important to notice that 1 plus a is greater than or equal to 0. That's because a is greater than or equal to negative 1. So that means we don't have to switch the inequality or anything like that. Because if this was negative, um, it could be uh, problematic possibly. All right, so 1 plus a to the k is greater than or equal to 1 plus k a. At this point, there's not much we can do except maybe distribute everything. So let's see, 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times a is a. And then the inside terms, that's k a. And then the last terms, that gives us k a squared. And let's see if we can write this in a way that's beneficial to us. Probably should have written something down, but this was by the induction hypothesis. Okay, so we want 1 plus k plus 1a. Let's see, we have the 1 here, and then here we have k plus 1a. And then we have this, this straggler here, ka squared. Well, we know that a is greater than or equal to negative 1. That means a squared is greater than or equal to 1. So... This is greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to, well, it's greater than or equal to 0, 
right? A could be zero in all of this, and if it is, then this is zero. So we can certainly say this is greater than or equal to zero. So this is greater than or equal to one plus k plus one a. And that's it. So we showed that one plus a to the k plus one is greater than or equal to this. So s sub k plus one is true. Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, s sub n is true for all positive integers n. So that's it.